Hey guys, welcome back to another Bleach Rancels video. Today, we're reviewing the Beast himself, Grim Jow. Now, this is like an updated version. He's Mind Attribute, I see right here, and it's got a little bit um, different of a character design. So, let's have a look. So, as you see, guys, his stats are the following 833 stamina, 524 attack, 297 defense, 267 focus, and 630 SP. His soul trait is damage taken minus 20%. So, I believe this is the only. Um, this is the second of that soul trait to exist, the other one Mashiro has. So damage taken is something really strong, especially in PvP, just because, just, you know, it's really powerful, it's self-explanatory. Damage you take is minus 20%, and when you stack that, it does make a difference. His killer is a Ronker, he does 20% more damage to those enemies, and let's have a look at his skills. So, as you're about to see on the soul tree, he does have a scale node in front of his soul level up, so you do have to get the raid characters before you can get him to max, I know some people want to know that. Anyways, without further ado, let's have a look at his skills. He's got increased flash step, always helpful for um, quests and everything. Increased normal attack range by 15, pretty helpful, especially if you want to deal some extra damage, and his next skill, normal attack power up by 20%, so he has increased range and increased power slightly for his normal attacks, which is really nice, just so he's a little bit more, you can build him more of like a hybrid if you want. So, you've got, also got increased um, death blow power, which is by 40%, so especially is going to be doing a lot more, and frenzy, so strong attacks hit twice, and of course, you're also going to need to get, um, I see right here, two 5-star each goes and two 5-star Grim Giles to max up, sorry, to level up his soul traits, so. He is an absolute beast, I'm absolutely loving his gameplay. Um, he isn't as OP, or whatever you want to call it, as powerful as I thought he would be, but he's still a really strong character. Anyways, let's have a look at the strong attack damage build. Now, I understand I don't have the best accessories, but this is what I could do. So, we've got 25% strong attack, 20% strong attack, 20% strong attack, so with total, we've got, uh, what was it, 65% strong attack damage. Uh, we got the hat right here, 14% defense, 14% spiritual pressure. 15% spiritual pressure, 10% um, coin drops, and 20% SP. So, we're going to be using Grimjow on an Ukior raid, and he's going to have the attribute and kill advantage, so he's going to be doing a ton more damage, especially with his frenzy. So, let's get straight into this raid. And you guys are going to see, even if you don't have the best accessories, this character can still be top tier. The Ichigo raid now with all these new greens, especially for bring Ichigo. The Ichigo raid, um, the bold one, the ones uh, for the characters that he needs, Okay guys, so here's a strong attack build. First off, he's got a forward combo, normal attack, melee, um, uh, what is it, normal combo range, sorry. One, two, three, four. As you guys can see, just from the visuals from his, um, claw strikes, the Descarion, like, my goodness, the range looks so long. Let's see this first strong attack, basically just a dash forward, giant claws. But as you guys can see, with Frenzy, it does a ton of damage. The second strong attack here, Vortex, does an absolutely ton of damage. And of course, it's really useful for breaking guards. And especially when you're swarmed by a ton of enemies, it's just such a useful strong attack. Probably one of the best in the game, in my opinion. Or at least, like, maybe not in PvP against in Brave Battles, but still, it's such a great skill to have. And guys, I see it doing about 600 to 700 per hit, which is actually really, really good for a Vortex attack, because you can still do a lot of damage and still trap enemies at the same time. So, ah, uh, I hate Miranda Riders, okay. Anyways, as you guys can see right here, he is just doing a ton of damage. That second shot attack there is just a giant roar, basically. Um, it's like an upgraded um, roar from this old version, and just... It's not full screen, by the way, none of his attacks are full screen, but the range is really good, especially when it comes to um, dealing damage. So, anyways, let me get off this Vortex attack here, because I Miranda Riders, and it will die from Miranda Riders right there, and now you can see why I hate them. So, yeah, anyways, Miranda Riders, by far the most annoying enemy in Brave Souls. Like, are you kidding me? I had the Vortex right in front of them, and they still managed to get through and deal damage. What is this? Anyways. I see that second shot attack can deal a ton of damage. Okay, well, let me just show you something right here. First shot attack, you see all those enemies there? They're just, they're just all gone. Just like that. Okay, darn. This. Okay, well that ruined the moment. Okay. Anyways, as you can see guys, his shot attacks do a ton of damage. Maybe they don't have perfect range, but still absolutely satisfying to use and the visuals are just amazing. So, so far I'm really, really loving this character, especially the gameplay. And just his kind of like play style, so let's get the heal orb right here and see if we take down these annoying Miranda Riders. Vortex work, thank you, okay. You now I'm gonna back off here because if you're not careful, you can easily get destroyed just because these wrong cards do double damage to me. Oh gosh, okay. 
I swear, the enemies in this raid are the most annoying of all. Okay. I'm gonna try not to die to Ukiora's special right here. As you guys will see, his special actually does a decent amount. Okay, I did take a friend. I see Ukiora's max is a special, and he's down to about half health right now, so... And, of course, I'm still gonna get hit by a special. So, I didn't dodge it properly. As you guys can see, with his special, he does quite a good amount of damage. Um, let me just... Actually, not... I'm gonna revive anyways, because I have those two orbs. But, anyways, as you see right here, with his special... So he, gets, so he does Grand Race Hero and then does Test Guardian. So, as you guys can see, his special does a pretty good amount. I know I revised right there, I honestly don't care. Because I can get the board back. But, yeah. His gameplay, just his character, his strong attacks, I just really, really like playing this character. Um, the really satisfying to use and visuals again are absolutely incredible, in my opinion. Probably because I like the color. Anyways, let's move on to the next build. Okay guys, here is the normal attack damage build. So, here it is right here. I tried to make it as balanced as possible. We've got the Frenzy Ichigo right here, 14% normal attack damage, 10% strong attack, Getsu, 20% normal attack damage, and Byakuya, 25% strong attack damage. We've got a Goken Teko, a Shinten, 20% SP, 20% attack, and 10% all stats, 20% stamina. So, this is basically like a half and half, basically a hybrid build is what some people call it. Strong attack damage and normal attack damage. Just a mix of literally everything into the mix to see what kind of damage we can get. So, um, in my opinion, obviously, because of Frenzy, he's a lot better with normal- Sorry, I can't talk. With strong attacks, but as you guys can see, this hybrid build does actually work really well. If you really like to use your normal attacks or strong attacks, I definitely recommend it. Honestly, you can be built anyway. So let's see this first strong attack. So the strong attacks aren't doing as much, but they're still easily being able to take down these enemies right here. And I see his second strong attack there wasn't able to take down uh, these um, tanky, uh, what's it called? I don't remember what the name of these hollows are, but as you guys can see, he is doing some pretty good damage. Let's see if uh, can I get a crit right here. I'm trying not to get uh, destroyed right now. So. Um, I'm seeing about 2,000, 1,600, um, maybe 2,000 on a crit with Killer, as you can see against, like, the, um, those, uh, special hollows right there. He does a lot more damage, obviously, because, you know, it's 20% more damage because of his Killer, but he's actually not doing that bad. Um, I'm seeing 2,000, let me see if I get a hit. So I guess he's wrong cards, I'm seeing about 2,000-ish normal attacks. First strong attack off again. I mean, still doing a pretty good amount. Let's see this um, vortex attack. So still doing up to 500 in damage per hit, which with frenzy doubled is about 1,000. So that's still a very, very decent amount. No Miranda Riders. Just, just no. I hate Miranda Riders. I wish they didn't exist in this game. So, gosh, man. Okay. Anyways, let's get off this vortex again, and I'm still gonna get hit. See, so see, guys. Do you, do you see why I hate Miranda Riders now? You see why I have a hatred for these Miranda Riders. Let's get off some normal attacks right here. Get off this third strong attack. So I see still doing a good amount. In my opinion, this hybrid build is better just because I like to use normal attacks as well. I am going to be trying out a hybrid, sorry, normal attack build on him after for those who want to see it. But yeah, in my opinion, I would go with this hybrid build just because I prefer to use normal attacks and strong attacks at the same time to please take down these enemies. I hate Miranda Riders, let's use this Vortex, hopefully they go in it and not jump out, there we go, okay, let's move on, I'm probably gonna die at the boss, by the way, just because, I don't even know, I just, look, you are right, just get some of my nerves, anyways, uh, okay, let me get this heal real quick, make sure nothing is jumping across the map, heal up, let's use the Vortex, hopefully stuff gets trapped in, that was close, I could've died right there, and let's take out the rest of these enemies, Gosh, 253, okay. So as you see, oh gosh, okay, I'm not, I don't want to risk it right now, that's why I'm not using See, this is what I'm talking about, but as you guys can see right there, I don't want to waste any more orbs, because I know I'm probably going to die to the Ukiyo anyways, just because the game just really needs to work on just specials, because I've been on the other side of the map before from boss and still died somehow. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is the normal type build right there, sorry, hybrid build right there. As you see, he can deal some pretty good damage back and forth, but yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next build. Okay guys, so here is the normal attack damage build. Now, I would not recommend this because, again, he is Frenzy, he is high SP, um, Chappies make his SP0, so I would not recommend this build. But anyways, we're gonna test it out because I know some people are gonna want to see it. 
He's got 20% attack right here. 30% uh, all stats, 20% all stats with 40% stamina as a second effect, you know, so we can survive longer, and 60% normal attack damage. So, again, increase all the stats. His defense is going to be a lot higher. Let me just double check again what his defense was. So, we have about 400 defense right here. Plus, uh, sorry, if I can talk, 400 defense with his minus 20% um, da damage taken, soul trait. So, let's see how much damage he takes. Hopefully it'll be reduced by a visible amount. I don't think it's going to be too much, but let's see what we can do right here with this Grim Jow with a normal attack build. Again, I wouldn't recommend this because he has Frenzy. I am going to be trying a recharge build after this, so I think um, that would probably work way better than this. But anyways, let's try this out. First strong attack. I mean, it's decent. I mean, you can still use the Vortex, but still not as good. I'm seeing 3,000-ish. I mean, if you really like to use your normal attacks, normal attack build can work on this character. As you guys can see, his range is actually not bad. Let me see if I get off some normal attacks, get off this Vortex, get off some more normal attacks. So I'm seeing almost maybe 3 crit, 3,000 in a crit, and then like maybe 3,600 in crit against the rock car enemies. So again, this raid is a mix of hollows and um, rock cars, by the way, for those who don't know. In this raid, they're not all the rock cars. So as you guys can see, when it flashes the, uh, the numbers, that's when you know you have a killer or, yeah, killer, um, you're dealing damn, you're using your killer, your killer activate, your killer's activation. Jeez, I can't talk. Anyways, as you guys can see, I'm actually, um, I mean, the normal attack is okay. Obviously, he's much better in shock attacks, but I actually like it because, just because of the range on his normal attacks, and there, his normal attacks just feel a lot more satisfying. I, I don't know why. Just normal attacks are just my thing. And strong attacks, no. The strong attacks are really good just because you can't take damage when you use them in quests. But, yeah, anyways, let's move on. Still full health right now. We can two-shot uh, these uh, wrong cars here. So, we simply take out all the wrong cars here with nothing but our normal attacks. So far, I haven't taken much damage, which is really nice. Guys, as you can see, right there, he's at the front of the swarm of the enemies and still managed to get the enemy at the back doing some insane damage. Let's see if we can just swipe through all of this. Nope, I would like to flash the blade because I don't want to die. So, let's swipe this down. I'm seeing 3,000. Not bad for a frenzy character. That's actually not bad. Okay, um, let's keep going right here. Can I get up some more swipes? I don't know. Just seeing his normal attacks deal so much damage, it just it just seems more satisfying. I don't know really how to describe it. But anyways, let's see if we take out this annoying Miranda Rider here. Please, Caleb, remove Miranda Riders from this game. From this game, please, Caleb. That, that's all I ask for. Just please remove Miranda Riders from this game. Okay, let's get off the vortex attack right here. Drop everything. Swipe. Now, in my opinion, just because of his Vortex, it does, like, his normal attack works for that reason. Like, you can literally just get a ton of enemies just swarmed into the vortex, into his Vortex attack, which is the second strong attack, and then just swipe and go with your normal attack as fast as you can. As you guys can see, the special is barely doing anything. I probably should have saved that Vortex attack, I should not. Okay. Uh, I just realized that Ukiro's using a special thing. Okay, I'm gonna run away, because I won't like to die, and Ukiro's gonna use a special. So let's see if we take out Ukiro this. Come on, let's see if we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, let's get that last swipe. There you go. Okay, finally. So as you guys can see, the range on his normal attacks, absolutely incredible. Paired up with the Vortex, actually works. But again, um, hybrid build does work better. Is that a new record? Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna try one more build, guys, because he has Frenzy ability and strong attacks hit twice. I'm gonna try the last build, the strong attack recharge time build. Okay, guys, so here is the strong attack recharge time build right here. We've got the exact same accessories as before for the strong attack damage build. So we got the Biakia Frenzy link, which is 18% normal attack, sorry, 80% strong attack damage, 10% recharge time, 12% um, recharge time, and 12% recharge time. So in total, we have 34% normal attack damage. Sorry. I can't spit talk. I keep getting my things mixed up. Sorry. Strong attack recharge time minus 34% and 16% strong attack damage with, um, as long with some, uh, SP accessories. So let's see what he can do. I think that this build might be the best, but again, in PvP, it wouldn't be good. We're gonna try him out with the damage taking build and strong attack damage build in PvP after, because I do want to see if the results will change. I did see if he could solo PvP, and the answer is no. This, this Grimjow can't solo PvP. I, I tried, guys. It, and maybe, maybe if you have some top tier, like, accessories here in the lower ranks, maybe, but I don't really see it happening. Anyways, 
as you see right here, his strong techs are still doing some good damage. And okay, let's see this vortex again. So the vortex, um, the amount of damage he does with that is really clear as well. Okay, so let's see. Seeking out right here. Okay, not bad. I'm seeing slightly less um, 500, no, uh, 500 damage from the Vortex. So it's not bad. I mean, the fact that you can use it a lot more, I can definitely see this being really, really good in like uh, boss rush or in, a, in like certain um, situations. Maybe not in PvP, but I mean, if you're not really good at dodging like me and you need some. Uh, really good character that can deal a ton of damage. This character might be for you. And I'm really liking... Uh, if I can talk right here. I'm really liking his build and his strong attack. So let me get back here. Vortex attack. Sweep them all in. Third strong attack. Take out everything. And of course that Hulk is going to survive with no health. So let's use the second strong attack right here. Get that heal orb so we're still in the game. And let's get this second strong attack off. I hate that when you use Vortex attacks, like I see right there, um, earlier, I did get hit by Miranda Rider, which is annoying. I mean, his normal attacks aren't doing as much, obviously, because he doesn't have anything to boost it, but I, I do feel like his normal attacks do need some kind of boost, and I should waste my Vortex right there, what was I thinking? Okay, this is, uh, third shot attack. Okay, still takes down the, um, the round hollow, so that's still good. Uh, oh. Well. I got sniped, I'm not willing to waste any words, but as you guys can see right there, I don't really want to record this again because it's really, been really long, and man, these enemies are really, really annoying, but again, um, being able to deal strong attacks that do have, that hit twice and deal a good amount of damage is still really decent, so, okay, I'm gonna have to unequip everything again, get him ready for PvP, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so, here we are with... The PvP team right here. So, I did have to switch it up a bit because I don't have enough strong attack damage links. We've got Kenny with these 30% uh, attack, second effect, 40% stamina, 30% SP, all normal attack links. So, full bring Kenny, absolutely stacked. Um, I am going to be using the attack strategy though, so his strong attacks will be prioritized. We got full bring Ichigo, 40% stamina on that tension tag, 20% SP, 40% defense SP, all strong attack damage links. And then we've got Grimjow. This time we're we'll trying him out with, a sh uh, sorry, with a damage taken um, build. So we've got the 40% stamina to keep us alive, to keep him alive longer. 40% SP, 40% defense, 20% SP, and all damage taken um, links. So I don't want to do the math, but you, as you guys can see, and you guys will see, he can do a lot of damage. You know, what? let's not even go boost. Let's just see how this goes. We got Grimjow versus Forming Ichigo. Um, if Grimjow had a full screen attack, he'd probably be a lot better in PvP. But again, he already has that um, damage taken minus 20% um, soul trait, so that's always really good. So as you right here, holding Ichigo, still getting off shots on Grimjow. We are getting absolutely annihilated right here. Wow, Kenny without the damage taken is getting straight. As you guys can see, Grimjow is taking hits. If he had survived that, maybe a special would have taken him out. But Grimjow is tank, guys. Okay. So, you know, that didn't go too well. Our full bring Ichigo kind of got destroyed. So, let's refresh again, see what we can do. Again, this isn't um, offensive Grimjow, this is more of like uh, tank Grimjow. Okay, let's see this. I mean, Kenny will most likely shred Grimjow just because he's gonna have um, the killer here. So, let's see how this goes. We've got Green Kenny as their leader. Oh gosh, double Kenny team gets you. Okay. Grimjow, um, Global Ichigo is not going to one shot that he gets, but he's going to take him out eventually. Grimjow is still getting out that vortex. Wow, Grimjow, Grimjow's tanky. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. Okay, so Grimjow, maybe I was doing it wrong before, but it's working. It's working. Okay, we're gonna burst the dog. Let's go. We're gonna fight the dog in extra battle. Let's see how this goes. But yeah, guys, um, with the damage taken build, I'm gonna do one more PvP and then we'll switch over to strong attack build on Grimjow PvP. But as you guys can see, he survives for such a long time as if you give him, give him full damage taken. It's actually pretty insane. So I wanna see some more. Um, if you guys wanna see some more PvP with Grimjow, because apparently you guys like seeing PvP, because apparently that last PvP video did good. But if you guys wanna see some PvP with Grimjow with a certain build, tell me guys in the comments below and I'll do it. So. There you go, we won against the dog, so let's get off one more brave battle with this um, Grimjow with the damage shaking build. You know what, we don't even need to boost right here. Okay, let's fight 
SD right here. We've got Grim Jow as our leader right here. So hopefully he'll tank all the damage. And this Yami. I kind of wanted Yami because of his pose, but you no. Know, Maybe I'll get him on global. I don't even know. Anyway, we got Tsukushima, Ikaku, and Barigun right here. So, Ikaku, okay, getting off his, uh, yeah, I think I talked. Already getting off his, uh, Vortex attack right here. Uh, Holding Bleach going. Holding Kenny doing absolute work. Grim Joe's gonna get off the special and annihilate everything. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. So, I'm actually gonna do one more with Grim Joe. Okay, that's three. And of course, gonna get another extra battle. Uh, this is actually annoying. Anyways, after this, because I've already done three battles with damage taken, I'm gonna switch over to the strong attack damage build and see if we can get off um, a lot more damage that way, especially with uh, him at the top. Grim Jow with the 25% strong attack damage. So, let me change Grim Jow's links, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the exact same um, PvP team as before, exact same accessories. We've just got the links from the strong attack damage build. So, we still have the attack strategy on, so strong attack will be prioritized. So we've got, I didn't change anything on Fubin Kenny and Ichigo, by the way. I don't want to waste time going back to them. We've got this, um, Soda no Shiro, oh, I should have put on the double booster, whatever. We got, we're fighting Soda no Shiro Yuki. Let's see Grim Gel at his peak point. Um, again, we do have the headband of justice, just so he has, just so he can survive longer. So let's see Grim Gel. Wow, Grim Gel taking out Soda. That's what I like to see. One shot with the strong attack. That's what I like to see Grim Gel. Grimjow, why don't you have a strong full screen shot attack? I would love that. Man, the day Grimjow gets a full screen shot attack is the day that I get into captain on this global fight. Because that's never gonna happen. Anyways, so as you see right there, guys, Grimjow one shotting Sode no Shiro Yuki with his third strong attack. So that third strong attack is obviously really, really good. Um, the Vortex may not be the best in PvP, but it does pitch in a bit more damage in the long run. So let's see Kenny. Uh, green Kenny, the Kenny that supposedly broke the game with his flurry. I mean, technically, full big Kenny did it better. But we got Green Kenny versus Grimshaw right here. Let's see what's gonna happen right here. So again, I think, yeah, we just burst this guy and lost. So what the heck? Or did we win? I don't remember. Anyways, we got Grim Chow getting off his uh, Vortex and his third shot attack. Wow, Wolven Ichigo is just carrying the team right now. We're just taking out them to get you. It's 3v1 against Red Kenny and it's it's just over. Man, Wolven Kenny. Okay, so Wolven Ichigo just absolutely shreds Mugetsu if you have the attack strategy on. So if you are using full bring um, Ichigo and PvP, Make sure you use the attack strategy. I'm just saying. Anyway, so we've got Bobrin Ishigo. People are saying he's OP. I mean, not. I don't think he broke the game as much as Bobrin Kenny. I understand he's really strong, but anyways, let's see. Oh gosh, he's got Toshiro as well. Okay, let's see Bobrin. Um, I didn't even see what happened. Did, did Bobrin Ichigo kill Bobrin Ichigo? What what happened? Okay, we're gonna have to rewatch that. I think Grimjaw actually took them out. I was literally just commentating. I wasn't really watching the screen properly, and then I just see that Volver to go just died. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I guess. Okay. Let's see if we can find another double chance. Another Fulbring Ichigo, but this time 880 um, attack power. Guys, do not run normal attack damage on your Fulbring Ichigo. Please don't. Oh gosh. Okay, we got Fulbring Kenny. So. We got our Bobby Kenny against um, our Bobby Kenny. Let's see if this. Okay. The Grim Jump just take out Bobby Ichigo. I think Bobby Ichigo has some help. So we got uh, Bobby Ichigo and Bobby Kenny versus Bobby Kenny. Come on, Ichigo, Ichigo. Come on, my bro. Okay, there you go. Okay. So let's do one more battle and then I'm gonna end the video. But guys, as you see, Grim Jump. Yeah, get, get, give him Nails Link. He can be just the ultimate stall character. Like, um, if I had more um, assessors with 40% uh, stamina, I'd definitely put them on him. But again, I don't want to chappy him. So let's fight the, another Fulbring Ichigo. Because Fulbring Ichigo dominates PvP, because that's how it works now. So, I also bought the dog as well. If you guys want to see a 6-star review for him, I will do it. But there isn't really too much to do with the character. So, uh, Fulbring Ichigo, Bari... Oh, what even happened? Come on, I wasn't paying attention. Game, game, you can't just do this. But as you guys can see, Grim Jow with strong attack links in PvP. Just, just annihilate everything. Just give him a ton of stamina. Give him, um, and yeah, that's, that's basically all you need. You just need damage taken links on him. Or, uh, yeah, just give him all strong attack damage links. Um, I think I believe there's three 25% strong attacks now, I think. Or just, if I had Ririka, I'd definitely equip it to him. But guys, as you see, 
my goodness, he just absolutely destroys. Okay, let, let's fight this full bring Kenny. Actually, no, I want to see him take out Sodi again, because last time, he was easily able to one-shot Sodi. Let's see if we can get this again, or maybe he'll take some more damage from her rage attacks. I want to see the outcome here, to see how it goes. Gosh, he's got the double Kenny with Sodi. I wish I had that team. Okay, Sode dealing like nothing to Grim. Wow, he's taking 99 damage. Grim jump, Grim, whoa. No, wait, what, Forbin Kenny? What happened? Guys, guys, what happened? Darn it, Forbin need to go. How did you lose to Green Kenny when I had this strong attack strategy? You know, okay, let's not talk about that. Don't know how that happened. It was Grim jump versus two Kennys before I knew it. Let's fight this Forbin Kenny, and then we'll end the video here. But, guys, I mean, Grimjow is not that bad. I probably put it to Tsukushima on my team because I feel like Tsukushima is better. It's full screen attack, weakening, and heal helps me to stall longer. But Grimjow is a really great character, guys. And I do enjoy him as a character in anime and as a character in Future Race. So, gosh darn it, she had to use her heal to Tsukushima. And Bobrin Kenny is going to get the special, but then he's going to die. Oh. That's annoying. See, this is why you need Tsukushima. Guys, did you see that? We were literally about to win, and then bam, Tsukushima somehow gets off his special. And then, just like that, um, they're just back to like a quarter of health, and they just, ugh, man. Okay, guys, to end off the video, let's fight this ambassador seaweed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Actually, I should just have Grimjow just solo this ambassador seaweed. That's, that's what I should have done. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. If you want to see any other videos, anything that's on this character, uh, Grimjow one shot at that ambassador seaweed. Didn't see that coming. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later in the next Leech Bracelet's video. Have a great day.